Hello friends, it is time for Turn and Burn for February 2023. So if you're new here, this is my setup. And each of these bags down here has a number on it. Um, this one is number two. So I have pre-packed this with items I want to use in February of this year. So that's what we are going to do. First up, oh yeah, I was excited about this. This is Tula Skin Cares. Um, it has both the face cleanser and the moisturizer in here. So we're gonna pop that into our shopping cart. Then we have the Way Detox Shampoo. Um, I think I've tried this before. This is definitely a few shampoos for me. So gen generally I won't do a detox shampoo more than once a week because even that's probably a lot, but yeah. And then we have our first mascara of the year and this is Jane Ardell's Beyond Lash Volumizing Mascara. And I'm excited to try this because I've never tried anything from this brand. So there we go. All right, now I need to pick a nail polish and I have, I had 12 in here. So each month I need to pick a different color. Um, I'm gonna go with this one, this Pixie, because this is newer and I have not used it yet. Um, so this is Imperial Blue and I'm excited to try it. Then I need to pick a moisturizer. These are all just sample moisturizers, but I need to try them all out. And I'm gonna go for this one. This is a Hey Honey 24 seven, honey day and night moisturizing cream. And I've wanted to try this for a while. So we're going to. Um, What else? Everything else, there's not like 12 of the product in here, but I can pick some random stuff. So I want to take these. These are serum. So this is Common Air Vitamin C Serum. And there are seven in here. They're the little capsules that you twist open. Ugh. And I'm just excited to try those because I like stuff like that. Okay. Um, what else? What's this? Oh, that fell out of here. <laughs> All right. Where are you? Oh, I got this recently. You know what? I'm going to go for the glow recipe before that because it is older. So this is the papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm. And I will be going on a trip this month. So I'll probably pack that to take with me. So that'll be nice to use. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, but might be obvious, um, there's a whole lot more foil packs in here than there were before because I bought a bunch of crap in January. Um, so I got a bunch of Ulta sample bags. So yeah, we're going to need to take more of these than we have before. So along those same lines, I will take this pharmacy green clean on my trip with me as well because I don't think this will last me 10 days. So just in case. Um, Bioma Moisturizing Rich Cream. Oh yeah, this is so cute. So I'll try that. Do, do, do. What are you? Oh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Okay. Not a huge fan of this brand, but I will try it since I own it. Um, so what else do we want? Oh, look, another one of those. All right. I guess I'll use them both. Why not? That's funny. Um, I feel like I am totally winging this right now. Like, I don't know how many I should be taking or anything. Ooh, let's do this. Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. So, 
looks like that's going to be my shade. This one's a little too uh, yellowy, but I'll try it out. Oh good, this has SPF because where I'm going is going to be sunny, so I might want that. What else? Um, should I do a cleanser? I don't think I should do a cleanser. We'll take that Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 Plus Sunscreen. Yep, I'll try that. Okay, my cart is full and fallen over with goodies, so <laughs> it's quite packed. And we are going to go ahead and take a look at how I did with last month's products now. Okay, so let's take a look at the items that I used in this past month just to see did I get through them or not. So let's see. All right. They're all on my desk, but my desk is a mess. You know. Okay, first up, this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer Sampler. I did use and not only did I use the concealer that is the right shade for me, I also used these two darker shades um just i only use these once because i'm not reusing something like this but i use these two as like a bronzer so it was nice to be able to get that use out of them and to actually you know have face makeup on because i don't normally do that but yes this was a success this i didn't i did not take these it's the love wellness bye bye bloat digestive enzymes and herbs. I didn't get bloated this month, so why would I use this? I don't know why I put it into my little pink bag for January. Mistakes were made, so I'm just going to set this aside in case I ever do feel bloated, I guess. All right, I the last foil pack here was the Olay Hyaluronic Peptide 24 Hydrating Gel. Um, I think I use this during the day. I don't normally do gel moisturizers during the day, but I think I did. And it was fine. It's just a moisturizer. There were no issues with it. I did use up my Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. And thanks to you all, I now know that Good Molecules is a brand that was created by Beautylish. And I liked this, it was fine. Um, definitely not enough here for you to get like a real feel for how it helps your skin or doesn't, but it was fun to use up. I also got through the Herbivore Moon Fruit and I enjoyed this. I actually like, I tried really hard to get all the product out of here and I couldn't. Um, there's a little bit <laughs> still left, but I, I was enjoying it, so I kept trying to get it out. Again, you can't tell from this little amount if it's working or not, but this had Bacuccio, which I've been interested in trying, and at least I can say I'm not allergic to Bacuccio. The nail polish I picked this month, I used it. So I decided that any use counts. Um... I used a shade that was in my 50 shades of green, and then I used this to make little flowers on top of it, but it counts. So there we go. And I think this is the last item. This was the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump that I was really excited about. The shade is Primrose. <sighs> so, crappy little package um you know they're not gonna put a lot of effort into a sample tube but um i couldn't push this back down i know you say advance for pushing it up but like to push it back down i can't think of the word for that i could not get it back down um so it hit the top of the tube of course and it's all messed up now and also 
The shade wasn't great for me because it's very light. Um, I, I did not like the shade or the way it kind of laid down on my lips because it would be a little creasy. Um, and it's a plumper. I was so excited about it because I wasn't thinking of the plumping aspect. I'm not a lip plump kind of girl. So I think I used this twice, but I used it. <laughs> my goal with the mini lipsticks and mascaras in this project is not to use them up. It's just to try them out and, you know, get some use out of them because they've been sitting around unused in my collection. So I did pretty good this month. We'll see about February because as you saw, I picked a lot more stuff out of my little drawer there. So come back next month and see how I did. Thanks so much for being here. If you did enjoy my turn and burn video for this month, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.